it's Bugsy No Name here. We're doing an episode of Shipping Busters. It's been a... I gotta admit, it's been a minute since it's just like me and not, you know, not the Bugsy Council doing stuff. But, we're about to talk about shipping. Now, for those of you that don't want to be around during this whole shipping thing, you don't have to. I, I'm telling you. This is straight up just me talking about shipping. You can totally leave. It is totally okay. But I wanted to bring the I wanted to bring this series back as kind of a Christmas gift. And see if anybody really likes it, so I'm just gauging if people actually like it or not. Okay. It, okay, let's get started here. Maggie and Mario. Some of you guys like Okay, how I see it is that Okay, like, when they first meet, you know, Mario, you know, Maggie just needed a friend to kind of go do, like, help her train for the Splatfest. So, Mario's there just helping him, helping her, helping her along, you know. But I think some of you kind of confuse that as, like, actual friendship. See, the thing about... Maggie and Mario, I didn't see them more as a brother and sister kind of thing. They're not like, they're not like lovers, you know, because when you, because when you've looked at enough fictional pairings of, as, like I have, you've, you see a pattern. You know, an e like an easy pattern that kind of goes, oh, it could go either way. But the thing about Mario and Maggie I don't really see them going in the way of, like, Mario and Maggie. I mean, Maggie and Mario are of age, so that's something we both, we all know. So, yeah, but I just don't see, I don't see our, I don't see our Wahoo pal. I don't see our little Wahoo buddy getting, getting busy with Maggie anytime soon. But I do think it could, I think... I think there have been a few moments that could hit, that could probably push that into question, but I really doubt like any of I doubt that Mario and Maggie can actually be a thing. Well, I guess I could go roll. I guess I could go roll credits, right? No, 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 no. No, but you know, let me let me kind of well, hmm, let me go. Let me go. Hit you with my own scenario of how this would work. Now this wouldn't be this wouldn't be a simple feat. You can't just you can't just force attraction. You can't just force attraction, guys. It has to be earned. Now I'm not saying Mario has to like get in, you know get in fucking and just get straight up naked to get Mega to go. Oh my God! I want some of that Italian action. <laughs> No, no. I'm thinking Mario, Mario, um, there'd have to be like a Mario situation. There'd have to be a situation where Mario saves Maggie. And I'm not talking like the usual kind of saving where, you know, Mario helps her get out of the way. It had, it would have to be something major. Like Mario would have to actually get hurt hurt. Like not enough to not enough for him to die, but enough for him to get injured. Okay, so we're not doing a we're not doing a Melanie and Axel thing because I'm just like, no, no. And yeah, we will be talking about Axel and Melanie pretty soon. <laughs> that's gonna hurt me, guys. That's gonna be next year. That's gonna fucking hurt. But let's, let's, let's take a minute. So, you're probably wondering to yourself, well, Bugsy, like, how did this happen? Like, let's say, let's say, uh, old Malice Peach sees the new castle, right? Sees the new castle that SMG4 made. And maybe, just maybe, and this, this is assuming that Peach kind of still cares about Mario, but there was that one video that kind of said that uh, well, Peach dragged Mario away for. Well, I can't say it on I can't say it on YouTube, but let's just say it was a tea party, 
a very special tea party. That was only in that one video. But, like, so that's, like, probably, like, a one-off. But, like, let's say if it wasn't. All right? Let's say since they all ditched Peach after the It's Gotta Be Perfect, may there were always, may the fact that Mario almost died, it, it makes Meggie care about him a little bit more. It makes Mario care about her a little bit more. But, you know, neither of them say it because, well, Mario's, Mario's an idiot. They can't really truly express himself that well sometimes. Sometimes he can, sometimes he can't. But let's say in this particular instance, he really can't. Like, because he's so... Like, let's just say, let's say, Mario remembers all the times he saved Peach and how he never got any anywhere with her. To an extent, except for that one, except for that one time, which is, which I would say would be like, and I, which would be a, one of the few times Mario actually gets to, uh, you know, gets a little. In the terms of Mario, a bridge series, Mario finally gets that ragu, all right. But he, but Peach doesn't really reciprocate those feelings in the SMG4 universe. You know, Mario's always like a freeloader, and since Mario's been dumb ever since SMG4 came around, he's basically, he, you know, Peach kind of starts seeing Mario a little differently, and that's where that goes. Once, once her protector, now just kind of an idiot that hangs around with the, with the, with the meme man and his, and his wacky little friends. Now, fast forward. Fast forward to Malice Peach for a minute. Let's say she does attack the castle. And Mari, and like, let's say Maggie tries to fight Malice Peach along with Melanie. Melanie is, six, Melanie is, is fighting her off. But she gets knocked back. She's powerful because, you know, fierce deity man. So, but somehow, she's able to get knocked out. Maybe the, maybe, maybe Peach's mouse is way stronger than the mask and just kind of slams Melanie's, you know, fierce deity form. Freaking unbelievable as that is, but let's, let's go with this. So, Mari, so, like, so, Maggie tries to fight. Tries to fight Malice Peach, or whatever the Peach Mon, whatever we're calling that Peach Monster. I think it is Malice Peach, but just so Peach basically goes for Maggie, and for some reason Peach is really transfixed on Maggie. None of us like you're looking at this, and none of us know why. And then like. Mario, literally, without saying a joke, without doing anything or talking about his pingus, he he blocks the attack from Peach, which would probably be either a claw swipe or some sort of energy blast. Somehow Mario, like, blocks it, but he injures himself. Which makes Maggie go into a fit of rage where she literally un unleashes a little bit of that energy for a little bit. Let's say she gets a new power. Let's say she gets a power up. It's like a rage thing because you know, sunshine. You know, sun. Was it sunshine paradise? Like she like had the little, had the little like depression. Like little the little voice in her head and her depression kind of kick in. But let's say that was an actual like power. She fights Malice Peach, which gives. Fights on Malice Peach enough, but she isn't really that strong, but it's enough to blow her back a little bit. Melanie, Melanie weakens her, which makes Malice Peach walk, which, which makes Malice Peach slink away, growling. And you can kind of almost hear her say, Meg, Maggie. So, so she's like, 
she's gone. SMG4 is just checking on Mario because he's just like, oh, sh Mario isn't dead. Okay. But Maggie is like, Maggie is like consolable, like, Red, why did you, why did you do that for me? It's, you know, and Mario doesn't really say it. He just goes with the usual, like, you're my friend. Yeah, I'm not having Mario just, like, announce that he loves Maggie. Because we, we can't, like, literally do that. Okay, okay, we gotta make this natural as possible. I've seen people make their little, their little shipping videos on it, but I'm like, no, man, we can't make it so obvious. Nah, we need to build. Because if you want to make a romance between two characters, you gotta build. It's like, well, from, well, I would make a Lego, I would make a Lego, Lego metaphor, but it's like, okay. If you ever see, like, you're gonna see me play Minecraft uh, next year a lot on my channel and on the, and on the website. Yeah, you know, because super, because super block world. So you're gonna see a lot of that. And the thing about that is, the thing about that is, um, think of every ship you like and you want to make it believable for a story. Think of it as, you know, you're building something in Minecraft, but you got to have a good foundation. You can't have something that is, you got to have something that is too weak because if it's, because if the foundation is weak, no one's gonna believe that Maggie and Mario could be a couple. And you're probably like, well, Bug, well, for all the people that don't care, you're like, well, Bugsy, this is stupid. And I, and to you, to you, my, my probably not existing viewer that is like, what, like, what the actual, like, what the actual fuck? But listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. I told y'all mother, I told y'all motherfuckers to get out. I told you. I told you. I told you guys. Get the, you know, get out. Just, just get out. But if I gotta, if I gotta, if I gotta pull out the gun. Guess I got to. Nah, nah. nah. Get the fuck out of here! This is this is for shipping. Chill. Anyways, back to what I was talking about. So now that that's taken care of, I'm bleeding. Uh, let me just, guys, hold on, hold on, hold on. Someone needs, someone needs the sweet release. Remember, folks, whether dealing with someone you can't, that is unkillable, or just, you know, dealing, dealing with stuff like this, always shoot five or six times. This is, and really, this is not actual good advice. Do not listen to me. I am just doing a bit. Chill. So. Okay. So, say Mario and Maggie are a little bit more closer. Everybody starts noticing. Bob is the first one to notice. Going like, hey man. You and Meg are really close really close lately. Does that mean you got does that mean you guys are Netflix and chilling? Mario just goes Mario just goes, that that seemed to get sleep. It's none of your business. Maggie actually blushes. You know, kind of saying the same thing. So, after that. After that, I believe that. After that, I believe that 
Meggie and Mario get a lot of concert and maybe if you guys want it, I would probably do more little stories like this to kind of actually explain a little bit more. But let's let's um let's fast forward just a bit. So on one cold on one cold Christmas Eve. Mario gets Maggie a one of the Splatoon weapons she's been eyeing at in the uh, in the store. Maggie gives her gives him like this ultimate plate of spaghetti. Like this this sh this shit is like Mario crack. Like it's like it's like Super Mario fucking crack. But Mario looks at, Mario looks at the spaghetti. He's like. Maggie, it's good, but I have something to tell you. Now I, now I know this. This really isn't. Now this really isn't easy for me to say, but I, I, you know, we'll just have him like struggle for a bit. Yeah, and he just says, "I love you." Like I, I love you. Maggie is kind of taken back, but she. Deep down, she's kind of wanted this for a while, and she's like, uh, "Oh," she goes, "Well, I do too, but where do we even go from here?" And like, Mark goes, "Like, you're telling me I, I, I mean, all my, all my life, I've been helping out Peach." You know, hoping that one day she would see me for what I was. But And this would be the rare moment for Mario actually like, yeah, it's fucking intelligence, but let's just let's just get him. Let's just say um he you know, let's just say maybe we play into the whole Mario Mario isn't dumb theory and he just kind of like just gets a little articulate. And it's like when I I mean, I'd spend more time with you. You dragged me to so you dragged me to a lot. You dragged me a lot through like splat splash training, and we we fought some pretty horrible things. And I've gotten closer to you as a result. So, I mean, Mario doesn't really know where to go from here because if you actually reciprocate my feelings, I. Don't know where we can go with this. Maggie just gives Mario Mar looks at Mario's eyes deeply. Her, her, her eyes, her, her, her eyes orange. I think they're orange. Anyways, so her, the orange hue of her eyes reflected in Mario's eyes. As they both stare deeply within each, both stare deeply with each other, and she's like, "Well, well, Red, we can go on one date and see where it goes, but no, no weird, no weird, no weird stuff, no, no dumb, no dumb stuff either." And Mario goes like. Don't worry, Maggie. I will be on my best behavior. Mario, promise. Boom. So yeah, I wouldn't. So yeah, I'd end this story. I'd end this on them having a first date. Like I end this on them about to have a first date because honestly, you guys can't just rush. Like again, it's like that song. You can't hurry love, you just gotta wait. Because love don't come easy. It's a game of give and take. And, you, and I've seen like a lot of you fans really, you know, be shipping this. And I'm not saying you guys are bad, but I'm just like... If you want this to work and be believable, and there have been like little, little hints that maybe there's a thing there. But the way some of you betray it, and then no, and no offense to any of you. None. I, I want you to know. No no offense. 
I feel like the way you guys want that to happen just seems kind of very unreasonable. You gotta, like, to me, you have to know which universe you're in, you know? You gotta remember what universe the SMG4 universe is in and really just start playing with that. And, yeah. But, yeah, do you think, but you're probably like, Will we ever see them in the Bugsy Council? No, I can't tell. I can't tell you everything now. If they were new recruits to the Bugsy Council, that means I could just do more stories with them. But maybe they are. Maybe they not. Maybe they're new recruits. Who knows? Who knows? If anybody wants to know more about what more about Maggie and Mario's first date, you know, like this video. And this will also be on my website as kind of a simulcast, in a sense. I mean, seriously, can I really call it a simulcast when, like, my website is hooked, in, hooked into my, like, my website is hooked to my channel and vice versa? <laughs> Man, I'm calling it a simulcast. I'll see you guys later. Peace, and remember, folks, and is this ship busted? Before I go, no, it's not. I just feel like shit has to be built up before we can definitively go. We can definitively go into that direction. And to me, even though they may have a few moments, things have to definitive, definitively get built up. Also, the. The render that you are seeing was made by Rico Gamer Boy. I want you guys to really, I want you guys to, you know, watch, you know, give them a watch on DA. Tell them, hey. Tell them, hey. Uh, this is some good, this is some good artwork. Keep it up, you know, be like. Yo, leave him something like that. Leave him something nice. Hmm. But anyways, I shall see. I shall see you all later. And yeah, you're in. And this has been the Big Three Box Network, and you're in the holiday zone. Get ready for more holiday fun with me and the Bugsy Council. I'll see you guys real soon. Peace. And roll outro. You watching the Big Three Bots Network? Yeah. Okay. You watching the Big Three Bots Network? Yeah. Okay. <laughs>check out my website right now we're work I'm working on a new feature where everybody can binge my YouTube content in one in one fell swoop you don't have to go anywhere just click the chaotic ki click the chaotic binge tab on my website and then boom all my YouTube content is now free for you to look at well it was always free but you can watch it all in one place also there's going to be more stuff in the cha the Chaotic Binge tab, so keep an eye on that, actually. You can watch all the other videos from the website that YouTube would never let me show, even on a good day. And, uh, you know, I really want you guys to check it out. I want you guys to understand that, like, my stuff is pretty, is pretty freaking cool. Or maybe... You don't know who I am, and this is just, like, really weird for you. For those of you that don't know, hi, I'm Bugsy. You should really check out, and, and let me just say this. My videos on my website aren't for, aren't for the, um, they ain't, they ain't for your wee ones. They're for, they're for 18 and up, so you need to know that. Like, seriously. Little Timmy, get get off my website. You don't need to be seeing that. 
I don't want to get weird calls from your mom. Saying that my vo saying that my voice is sexy. Just I don't need that. I don't need that. But anyways, go check out my website. And you're probably wondering, when will we ever see you again? Ah, uh, my, uh, my dear friends, you will see me again because on, because on the website, if you go to the Big Three Box Network TV tab, and you look at, and you look for Bugsy No Name stuff, that's where you'll see me, the guy behind all this stuff, talking about whatever I want. So, I'm never truly gone. I'm always around. But I shall see you all later. And, and also, enjoy the Shipping Buster video. I was really debating whether I should really even talk about this. And granted that the Super Mar the SMG4 fans are kind of, well, uh, little, uh, you know. You, you guys, some of you are cool. But some of you are a little bit on the you know, messed up side on a lot of things. But, not saying that all of you are bad, I'm just saying that some of you really take a lot of this, a lot of the stuff that goes on in this fan, a lot of the stuff that goes on with these characters a little too seriously is what I'm saying. So you need, so some of you just need to lighten up a bit. But I'll see you guys later. Bugsy out. Um, I think that's about it. Um, yeah, so see you guys later. Peace. For real this time.